Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this stitch pattern here. And I've tried looking up the um, the name of it, and the closest thing I've found in the needle world is called a diamond cross stitch. Um, but I don't think this is exactly like that because the uh, the skip area here is uh, a little more spread out when I skip. So, um, but it's actually not a difficult stitch pattern to achieve. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. And so basically it's a diamond cross stitch pattern, okay? And what you're doing is to do the skip, you skip two. You're going to lift that stitch up, take the working yarn and put it behind the peg and put the stitch back on. Then you're going to lift up the next stitch, put it behind the peg and drop the stitch back on. Then you're going to knit the next two stitches and then you're going to skip two. which means you're going to lift that stitch up, take it off the peg, take the working yarn behind that peg, put the stitch back on. Lift the stitch up, take it behind the peg, put the stitch back on. Then you knit two. I'm going to show you one more time. You lift that stitch off, take the working yarn behind the peg, put that stitch back on. Pick up the next stitch, take it behind that working yarn, I mean that working peg, and put the stitch back on and knit two. And you're going to do this all the way around. Okay. Now after you do this all the way around, you're going to knit for three rows. Okay, so you're just going to knit three rows and then you do a stagger. Okay, so basically we have just done this row here and then you'll do this row. So it's actually a eight row set in order to achieve this look. Okay, so you do this skip to knit to all the way around or do half because I've done half um, stockinette and half the diamond cross and so you just stop at your halfway point. You're going to need multiples of uh, four to create this stitch, okay? And then um, so you can do half this, half stockinette and then all the way around. So you do it however many times you need to do it and um, so you do this, you go all the way around, okay? So pause the video and go all the way around. Okay, now that I've done that row, again what I'll tell you is the next three rows you're just going to knit all the way around, okay? So you're just going to knit. All the way around for three rows. So pause video, get that much done, and then I'll show you what I call the stagger row. Okay, we've done that, and now we want to do our stagger row. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to knit those first two instead of skip them. Okay, then what we want to do is we want to lift that stitch up, put the working yarn behind, place the stitch back on. Lift the stitch up. Put the working yarn behind, put the stitch back on, then knit two. I'll show you again. Lift the stitch up, put the working yarn behind, put back on. Lift the stitch up, put the working yarn behind, put back on, knit two. And you want to do this all the way around 
and then I'll show you the last three rows. Okay, you've worked your way all the way around. And now what you want to do is you want to just straight out knit You just want to knit around for three rows. Alright, so that's how you do this diamond cross stitch. And you repeat those six rows over and over and over again. And that is how you get this nice simple stitch pattern. It's really not that difficult once you see what that skip section is and everything. So do three more rows of knit and repeat these eight row eight total rows over and over and over again to create this stitch pattern and that is the diamond cross stitch